A church, possibly one of the biggest victims of today's storms. Feet of water flooded in and around the Hope Church, leaking onto the ground floor, leaving behind a lot of mud, dirt, and debris. Fox 5's Doug Johnson joining us live from near Maryland and Cactus with the latest on the cleanup. Doug. Yeah, well, John and Olivia, good evening. You may not be able to believe it right now, but uh, earlier this afternoon, this courtyard I'm standing in was covered in several inches of mud. That is until members of the Hope Church came out in full force and immediately started cleaning up. It's a cleanup effort which has brought the Hope Church congregation closer to one another. I came together, showed support, and uh, it's really a family here at Hope. But at first, the floodwaters had lead pastor Travis Ogle praying to God. He saw clearly there were cars underwater, there were people swimming to dry ground, um, and so we were just overwhelmed with how much rain was flooding around our campus. Eventually, so much had come that it had punctured a hole under the foundation of this wall, sending up to three feet of water crashing into the property. Firefighters showed up and said, you've got to evacuate the building. They pulled the power um, on both buildings and said, we need everyone to leave campus. But they didn't stay gone for long. As the floodwaters around the church receded, thick mud covered its courtyard. I split a lot. <laughs> and up to six inches of water was inside both buildings. And with amps, chairs, and instruments all inside, the church says damages will cost at least $500,000. And to give you an idea of just how bad the damage is, I'm standing on Cactus Avenue right in front of Hope Church, and the street below me is almost completely washed out. But everyone lent a hand to clean up. I just picked up a broom and started sweeping. And now Pastor Ogle says the church is ready to be back open for Sunday service. And we have been overwhelmed with the number of people who have come just to serve. And as well as that cleanup went, the church says that unfortunately they do not have any sort of flood insurance. They are asking for uh, whatever help the public can lend, especially when it comes to their landscaping, because they said this uh, flood completely destroyed all of their plants and vegetation. So whatever donations people can make is greatly appreciated. Reporting live, Doug Johnson, Fox 5 News, local. Las Vegas. I'm sure they are not the only group or family or any entity realizing that they didn't have flood insurance today. Doug Johnson reporting tonight. Thank you so much.